So round two of me trying to make this video, um, I just shot it before using the Rode Video Mic Go, but I'm picking up weird interference or something in this apartment. So if you have any suggestions for how to fix that, shoot me a message. Um, it's too bad because I love that mic. So I'm using the uh, Nikon D3300 built-in mic. Um, so I apologize if the audio quality is not stellar, but just working with what I got right now. Just a brief update on the channel, um, so I was posting a lot of videos over the summer, loved doing it, had a ton of fun, um, and then I kind of stopped for a bit. I'm in my second year in medical school, it's pretty busy, but um, I'm going to try to keep making more videos just because I love doing it and um, it's a lot of fun, it's a good way to relieve stress too. So Today's video is about the Takamine EAN40C, which I have right here. This guitar is discontinued. I bought it probably 15 or 16 years ago new. Um, it has an NEX body, which is Takamine's kind of version of a grand auditorium. Solid cedar top, solid mahogany back. Mahogany sides, but I think it's layered wood or laminate, whatever you want to call it. So not a completely solid wood guitar. Um, the preamp right here is a CT. 4B2, which I think Takamine still uses. It has a built-in tuner. You can control the uh, the mids, the highs, the lows, and the overall volume. Um, pretty great. So basically, this has been my only acoustic guitar for my entire life up until this summer, um, and it's been awesome. It sounds phenomenal. Let me just play it open right now. So I have this tuned down a whole step, and then these uh, B and the E string are down another step on top of that. So kind of this weird alternate tuning I'm working with. But um, basically I've had this guitar my whole life. I brought it with me uh, when I went to school in New Orleans. I would play it downtown on Bourbon Street and stuff like that. Uh, so a lot of good memories with this guitar all through high school. And you know, I still play it all the time. I just leave it on the couch, pick it up and play it. But I did drop it at some point, which started cracks right here. Um, there's also been some damage right here. This cutaway is always a, a weak point um, for a lot of guitars, so it really needs some love. I only trust one luthier, um, and he's always backed up. So trying to get this in there hopefully soon, but it does need some TLC. Um, basically, I love this guitar. It's got no inlays. You can see very classy looking. Um, a lot of people growing up, I think, that were friends with me saw this guitar and wanted something exactly like it just because it looked cool and it sounded phenomenal. So let's hear how it sounds a bit with a, with a pick. So it has that kind of Takamine, shiny, bell quality to it, um, but it also has a great low end. So you can, if you're used to palm muting, especially on like an electric, you can really get a lot of that out of this. Um, and it sounds really good on plug. I don't think it sounds quite as good when, when I plug it in, but I mean, still, it's a, it's a great solid preamp. Um, I feel that way about most acoustic guitars, so it's not just specific to this one. Um, and I will say this, over the summer, when I was looking to get a new acoustic guitar finally, just because I couldn't repair this one fast enough and it kind of makes some weird noises because of the damage, so I can't really record with it using a, a microphone, um, I bought a lot of guitars and I brought a lot of them back. So much trial and error, it took months, but along the way, one of the guitars I picked up was the Takamine P3NC, which is like the modern version of this guitar. I figured, I love this guitar, I'm probably going to love the modern version of it. It's extremely similar, also NEX body size, same preamp, um, and I shipped it up, I had it shipped up from the warehouse, uh, Sam Ashes warehouse in Florida, right to my door. Cut open the box, 
busted it out, beautiful hard shell case, open it up, kind of underwhelmed, doesn't have quite the same elegance as this guitar. It's a little plainer, almost. Um, and then I started playing it, sounded kind of flat, changed the strings, you know, adjusted, uh, adjusted the, um, the relief a bit, you know, got everything a little bit more comfortable, still sounded kind of flat. Um, there were some quality control things, like it seemed like the B string had dug into the saddle a bit, so there was this uh, not appropriate string spacing that was kind of difficult to fix at first. Um, and I kind of lied to myself for a while. I was like, oh no, this is very similar, like I love this guitar, but at the end of the day, didn't didn't really enjoy it that much and brought it back. So I think if you have the option of picking this up used for, I've seen them as low as 450 with a hard showcase, which is a smoking deal. That's a steal. You know, I've seen them for a little bit more, 600, 700 used versus the new P3NC, I would go for this. Maybe the P3NC I got just wasn't, you know, a good one that happens. It's totally specific to guitar by guitar, I know that. But um, this this blew it out of the water. And uh, if you can find one of these for 500 bucks, I think it's great. And the NEX is a really comfortable body size, whether you're a beginner or a more advanced player. You know, it's a, it's a little bit bigger than a Grand Concert, but it's not like a Dreadnought or anything. So, so I'll just play for a little bit and that'll be that. Especially, um, you know, I'm gonna get back into the groove of making them. I got a so the newest acoustic guitar, the only other acoustic guitar I have is this uh, 12 fret Taylor with the uh, Tasmanian Blackwood and the Mahogany. It's like a 300 series, it's incredible. So be on the lookout for a review for that. Um, and uh, yeah, talk to you soon. <laughs>